Word spread quickly of this loss here on this close knit campus. We're at Alliant International University, and yeah, it's a tough day on this first day of their spring semester to come back. Many students and staff are grieving the loss. Now, Sara Sadat was in her first year of her first semester here, I should say, um, in this university. She was studying clinical psychology, and you see right here, there's a row of flags. We're at the Avenue of Nations, and you see the Canadian flag right there. She was a citizen of Canada, and each of these these flags do represent each nation their students are citizens of at this university. So Sara was visiting family in Iran during her winter break. She was supposed to fly from Tehran for Edmonton before returning to school here in San Diego. She was with her sister Saba and her mother, a well-known doctor in Edmonton. They all died together in that crash on Wednesday. Sara has been described as kind, smart, and hardworking. She grew up in Iran, then was a graduate of the University of Alberta in Canada. She was here working on her doctorate in clinical psychology. She was part of a small program of only 50 students at Alliant and this morning those students starting the first day of spring semester without her they all gathered with their professors and grief counselors before they started class this morning and since their specialty is psychology they are leaning on each other and the tools they've learned here at school to get through this. So because the program is, is so small and so tight-knit, uh, as I spoke to before, when any one member of our community is impacted, our entire community is impacted. So we're leaning on one another uh, to, to grieve and support one another. San Diego's Iranian American community is remembering all the lives lost in that Boeing crash. It was shot down by Iran. According to government officials, they say it was an accident. Now, it uh, included a couple who had just gotten married on New Year's Day and most of their wedding party also on that flight. So the photos and names of all the victims are now up at Balboa Park's House of Iran, where a vigil did take place on Sunday. And here at the university, they also want to memorialize Sara. So they're getting together with students and staff to come up with the best way to honor her. They also say her family, part of her family, does live in Southern California, so they're working closely with them to come up with plans for a remembrance ceremony.